Hello, how are you? Thought we could read another story. And this one is going to be Room on a Broom. Are you ready? I'm ready. I've got my, uh, my witch's hat and I've got my magic wand. Okay, so you help me read the story. Let's open it and see. All right. The witch had a cat, meow, meow, and a very tall hat, and a long ginger hair that she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it whoosh, blew off her hat. Down, cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with his hat in his jaws. Look, I've got a little dog, can join us. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled her hat firmly down on her head. Don't wanna lose it again, do we? Straighten my hat. I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed loud and held on to her hat. <laughs> but away blew the bow on her long ginger plait. Oh dear. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting streak, there flapped a green bird with a bow in its beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. Chip, chip, you sign bird. Then said, as the witch tied her plait in a bow, I am a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? <coughs> yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Oh, it's raining. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The wind, which, the wind? The witch clutched her bow and let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. What happened next? Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog. With a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on the end of her cloak. I'm a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and mountains they flew, the jog, the, the jog, the frog jumped for joy and <gasps> the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and down fell the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud. The witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Do you think she, what do you think she heard? <laughs> oh, no. What do you think she might have heard? Should we turn the page and have a look? <gasps> it's the dragon! Rah! I am a dragon, as mean as can be. And I'm planning on having witch and chips for my tea. <gasps> no, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying close to the ground. She looked all around but no help could be found. He's trying to escape. The dragon flew nearer and licking his lips said, maybe once I'll have witch without chips. 
But just as he planned to begin his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird, and its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch, and it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon drew back and started to shake. Oh, I'm sorry, he spluttered. I've made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, and now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and flew off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and jumped down the frog. Down climbed the cat and, phew, said the dog, Woof. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in a dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Come on everybody, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was sitting, stirring, she muttered a spell. <gasps> Iggity, zickety, zackety, zoom! And then out rose, what came out the pauldron? What came out? <gasps> a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird, a pond for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Yay, I love that story. Do you like my witch's hat? Yeah, I've got had all my friends help me tell the story. Okay, so perhaps you could go home and you could um, go home. You're already at home. Perhaps you could make me a potion and throw something in. We could throw in some pasta or some grass and flowers from the garden, a bit of water, perhaps a bit of soap to make some bubbles. And then we could do our own spell, couldn't we? Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. I'll see you all later. I'll read you another story. Bye.